Now, if you've taken any interest at all in GPT-3, you may have come across the terms fine tuning and embedding. So I've just put this together to kind of explain uh, what they are and how they can be useful, because I've seen some confusion around this. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate to you is fine tuning, and I've set this up in a Google Sheet. Now, as you may know, GPT-3 was trained on this corpus of data uh, that had a cutoff date sometime in 2021. So if you ask GPT-3 a question that needs more current information than that, um, it just doesn't have that data. So what it will do is it will just kind of give you the most probable answer it can in response, which is why it's kind of had this reputation that sometimes it gives uh, inaccurate responses. It's not inaccurate. It's just the most probable answer that it can find based on the training data it has. Now, if you use something like uh, Bing's new AI chatbot, uh, Sydney, what that's doing is if you ask it a question, it does a search on the web to find the most current information and then formulates a response from that. Now, fine tuning is a little bit different. Fine tuning is where we provide our own data set, um, which may not be available anywhere else, and we can then ask it questions based on uh, its existing training data plus the data that we've added. So as an example, I've created this Google Sheet here and I've put in here um, a list of speakers at an event that I'm going to in a couple of weeks time in Helsinki. And it's just the names of the speakers, the title of their talk and a brief biography on each of these speakers here. OK, so I can go and put in um, a question. This is actually doing a completion. So I can say um, the person speaking about strategic SEO is press return, wait a couple of seconds and it will say it's Matthias Randeris. OK, so it's taken that from here. Now, it hasn't pulled that information from the web. Um, it hasn't taken that information from its original training data because that information would not be available in its original training data. It's taken that from this cell here. Now, I can put a different question here, something like the author of the Tempest oops, is... You can see it comes back with William Shakespeare. Now, obviously, that information is not in this cell. It's not in the fine tuning data. So in this case, what it's done is it's kind of fallen back to its original training data where it's managed to get this information from. So the fine tuning data here is augmenting the training data that GPT-3 was originally trained on. So that's kind of fine tuning. Now, if you imagine you know, I've put some data in here, but you could upload um, medical records, uh, legal information, all kinds of really valuable data um, that may not be available on the web. Um, and then you can query that and ask questions on that very uh, specialist data that you provided. So that's fine tuning. Embeddings is something slightly different. Now, here is another Google Sheet that I'm going to use to demonstrate embeddings. So I've got here a list of some basic animals. Uh, I can ask a question such as has tentacles, oops, tentacles. And what it will do is it's going to look at that list of animals and then it's going to come back with the most probable answer. So what it's doing here is it's looking at its original training data, looking at this list of animals that I provided, and it's coming back with the most probable answer to that question. And the way it does that, um, if I just unhide this cell here, you can see we've got a hidden column here that I've put in, um, which is called, which is the embeddings. Um, and these are just numeric values. They're called the cosine similarity that look at these uh, animal names that I've put here. And it then creates these vectors to understand uh, the meaning, the semantic meaning behind each of these uh, animal names that I've provided here. So let me just hide that back again. Now, I could put in something that uh, is completely nonsensical. So I can put in something like can speak English. Now, obviously, none of these animals here can speak English. But when I do that, what it's going to do, it's going to come back with turtle. And the reason for that is probably because when it referred to its original training data, it's discovered, well, none of these animals actually speak English. But the most probable answer is turtle. I suspect because of the teenage mutant turtles, um, which people have referred to uh, and appears in its training data. So we're forcing it 
to only give an answer from the embedded data here from the list of animals that I provided. So that's kind of the key difference between uh, fine tuning and embedding. Embedding is just coming up with the most probable response um, from the list that you provide. Fine tuning is where we're augmenting GPT-3's original training data with specialist data that we have. Hope that's helpful.